Lorde pops it on his way. Space here for Smith. Straight through the gap. Here's Liner. Murley's with him. So too Esterhazen. He's going to take some stopping. Infield ball for Liner. He just cannot stop scoring. And it's a little one too. What a score. This is just brilliant to watch. Both sides. <laughs> Piertau. And they've lost it's it. A knock on in the tackle. In the tackle. Collier. Just a knock on. Has it now? Oh, oh Quince! Will Collier! Oh my goodness me! Oh, he scooped it back. Well, you literally couldn't make this up. He's never scored in the Premiership. Never scored 134 matches. Tonight's the night for Will Collier. Wow, look at this. The turnover, let's have a look. It's Esther Hayes who gets in, strips the ball. Everyone stands still. Collier has a little show and go. Loses three defenders with his dummy. And then it's just about holding tight and using his momentum. Quinns with possession, Smith with the crossfield kick. Murley takes on Lloyd. Inside, Green, herring away to the line! They're irresistible at a moment. You just can't stop them. And such a narrow defensive line. Harlequins having an absolute field day. Use it, please. Marla waits. Pick up from Smith, off his toes, dribbles it through, chases after it, Marcus Smith! Oh, shut up! <laughs> You've got to be kidding me! This guy, this guy's got something very, very special! Stop it, will you? That is just silly. If he's not in the England team starting, there's going to be a lot of people asking the question, why not? Care. Oof, cheers oh, got that ball away brilliantly, and now Green in space, and Green twisting and turning and getting there. Sail a little bit tight, one person goes out for the big shot, that creates the dog leg, and then he uses Solomona scrambling to get back to step and then watch this little push from Murley to make sure he gets over the line. Lorde out the back to Smith, didn't quite know what to do, was going to drop it onto a boot, then the other and didn't. Tyrone Green, wowzers, why not? Out the back, Smith's away, he'll put Marchant in for his second. Try time. No. Didn't think they'd just see it out, did you? You're stepping out. Alan Lord, that is flat as, as it can be, and Lord A and Murray. A little step to put some doubt in the mind of Alex Good, and then the drive over the line. And Quinns with a couple of early crackers. Yeah, all the Yeah, it's a wonderful try, a really good response. Caden Murley's the beneficiary. He's replaced by Steve Maffey. Oh, this is a brilliant break from Walker. And then he ships the ball away to Northmore. And off the line out, quick as a flash. Quinn's with their second, Quinn's back ahead. Smith again. Green, liner. Drops it onto his foot. Oh, this is magnificent! Oh, what a touchdown! What a score from liner! Conjured yeah, largely from nothing, place. with no yeah, space to work with at all. He's threaded that forwards and come up with the fingertip touch. Oh, Leicester just get a little bit narrow on that blind side, and Smith races the ball past Nandola. That forces the back man to come up, shut the gate on the outside, and Liner reacts quickest with the chip through. Lord A. Exploiting that five metre channel, North Moors through. He's got support from Liner. Lewis Liner just loves it at Twickenham. Two in the final in 
June. One here this afternoon. That's number five for Quince. Lovely offload of line from Northmore. And they just release the beast. Lewis Liner, straight line runner, just perfect technique. Skosen does so well to get across. But another long ranger try. Smith, Esther Hazen, Don Brandt. As well tackled by 12 trees. Behind Walker to Kenningham. And now Northmore, little step, and he's on his way. Couple of steps, gets him there. There's nothing Harris can do to close the gap. Still took some finishing, gets him off balance with his footwork. Really good finish from Northmore. Once more they straighten through Marler. Unfeasible pressure. Once more the kick pass. Oh. This time it works. This time Esther Hazen scores. It had to be him. It had to be those two. Well, as I say, fourth time lucky. He is probed in those wider channels. Marcus Smith, often the person to unlock defences, as he did with ball in hand in the Premiership final. As uh, Quinn showed them how it's done in the line out. Esther Hazen finding Nick David on riding that tackle beautifully. So much balance. Here goes Jones. Two men outside him. And it goes to Murley. And that's how it's done. Clinical in every way, clinical in exactly the sort of way that Bath were not. Yeah, it's absolutely fantastic from Harlequins. Turned it into something of a dogfight, but they do have an advantage, Quinns. Edwards, swift transfer to his left boot, lovely bit of control. Oh, that's very, very good from Tyrone Green. Well, something from nothing, really. Edwards under all sorts of pressure. The ball landing in no man's Looks land. Good to me. Worcester defenders wrong footed and Tyrone Green lightning quick onto it. Allen, top top four. A returning Wilco Lowe. Only his second start of the season, the South African. Oh, and then the burst from Allen. And he's gone through and no one is going to stop him. And he gives it unselfishly to Hugh Jones. And that is vintage. Trademark wins. All starts with that early canter from his own 22. Absolutely electric. Hugh Jones, three tries in five games. He's been outstanding for him. Love his partnership with Esther Hayes, and they complement each other so well. Danny Kess looks at the short side but decides to go open. Loose prior pass behind Tyrone Green, but here's Oscar Beard. Beard for the corner. What a score! They'll go upstairs, but Harlequin's acrobatic early on here at Ashton Gate. My apologies, it is Murley. Leffy's on the charge again, look at the skipper, there's the offload, and how about the hands from Tizard? That is absolutely brilliant from the Harlequin second rower, the skill set of the big man. Care looks left, goes right, Smith hoists over the top, all oh, over the head of Oli Hassel Collins, and that was pinpoint into the arms of Caden Murley, who jogs in. And then it's hard line running as well as silky hands and death touches. I mean, that is millimeters Village. away from being intercepted. Marla wrestling for it, Marla just about wins it. Only one occasion in the match so far where Quinns have been in the 22 and not scored. Jones to Care, they're at it again. Care might have got there. Get into the red zone and Quinns score. It was Danny Care, isn't it? The fight, the desire to go for that fifth try. Lovely that by Marchant. Hugh Jones does get a little bit lucky, but the Harlequins players are queuing up. Look at the fight from Danny Kerr, helped out by his mates. And Levis took it on. Oh, and then Don Brand goes through, and it's picked up by Connor, and he scores. It's turning into the most golden of try scoring seasons for Will Collier. A hundred years without one or thereabouts, and now he's got two. 
it's quick enough and care and smith marching offers himself which left Merley all alone too easy rock solid scrummaging foundation and then the speedster on the left finished it yeah really good Caden Murley being the beneficiary but take nothing away from joe marler and his men smith Dombra not far away, instead he was the dummy runner. This is Jones and now Liner. Marchant was to his left. Oh, Liner's got away and uh, Leicester defender needs to bring him down. In the end, Green got there, but it's really opening up. Must score! Esther Hazen! Wayne Barnes wants to check, but Quinn seems sure on this occasion. Corner flag doesn't matter as long as the feet don't go into touch. Delay on the pass, it's been knocked on by Northampton on the way through. Smith, kick pass, picks out Marchant. And he's cut it in field, and Jones has it! Somehow or other, Hugh Jones' race is clear! Marchant, this is absolutely phenomenal. Smith, nothing really on, just chips it over the, the top. Onside. He's the player who kicks it, he's the one who receives it. Oh, oh my lord. That is outstanding, that is so, so good. good. So look at his left big toe. That foot is okay. Ooh, no, it's in. Oh, is it it's in? in. No, it's clear, he's in. Oh, look Correct. at that, you can see how it's pushed the green grass up against the white. <laughs> That's incredible. <laughs> Huge skill levels. That, that is spectacular, isn't it? It really is high class. And no one happier than Hugh Jones. Joe Marchant on his toes, he's bouncing around like a boxer about to start 12 rounds. He's up for this. Esther Hazen as well, moving menacingly. Care. Oh, he didn't go for the pass, he went for the kick. Cheeky, brilliant. Joe Marchant. Well, what a response from Quinns, you've got to say. Yeah, that, mate, yeah. It was gift wrapped, really, by Gloucester's set piece falling apart. Either side so far has exited perfectly. Little nudge through to chase it. Could sit up for March and does another brilliant try. I was going to say another bit of Quinn's magic there. Marcus Smith calling for it out wide. Little hitch kick and he flies through the gap. Ridiculous skills. He's got Louis Liner in support. Here comes Liner. Liner sidesteps one way, then goes the other. Joe Simmons isn't going to catch him. Brilliant from Marcus Smith. Rounded off by Louis Liner. And Harlequins back in it with try number four for them under the posts. That's absolutely incredible there. We are uh, all the players. There's a lot of players down getting their breath back. Honestly, it was from the five meter, five meter from Exeter, five meter back to Quinns, and he made back absolutely back back. something out of nothing there. He was, he, he was on his own. There was no way he was getting away, and somehow he managed to uh, get a try. Very good. Kept alive. Don Brandt plucks it out of the sky, keeping it alive brilliantly. And now the ball just needs to go back inside to Tyrone Green from Marchant, and Quinns are over once more. Created by Don Brandt and then Marchant and finished by Tyrone Green. The breakdown is absolutely killing next to at the moment and it needs to be addressed before it, you know, it, it bleeds some more points. I think both teams fight physically, um, you know, matching each other at the moment. We got away with one in the, in the first half um, and set piece, as you see there, is going to be crucial for us. So look, we're pretty happy with the way things are going at the moment. Marcus Smith breaking free somehow. Yeah. On his shoulder is Danny Kerr. And Harlequins are in for their seconds. The half-backs in tandem. The chemistry, the telepathy, the finishing. Well, the half-backs will get all the plaudits, but they'll be going straight over to Will Collier.